Hello YouTubers, today we're going to be working on this 2007 BMW X5 4.8 Beautiful vehicle, just came in and it's already sold But we're having issues with the uh, thermostat It's popping up a code of uh, PO128 Which uh, usually means it's a thermostat uh, The fan's been kicking up on high And uh, we're going to take a look at it We've also noticed it's been leaking from the thermostat So that's why I'm shooting for the thermostat Okay, I got it in the shop it's real windy out there, so I don't know if y'all could hear me, but uh, we were getting a code of a P0128, which usually sh usually shoots to a thermostat, and we're also getting a code P112B. Also has to do with thermostat. But uh, it could be several things. It could be your low on coolant, uh, which this was, was, cause it's leaking. And we notice it's leaking right here. And I'll put some light later on where the thermostat is. So that's why we're going for the thermostat right now and it's not that expensive i think it's like 60 bucks uh, it could be your water pump i mean you just gotta troubleshoot but right now we're gonna go with the uh thermostat okay let me show you real quick what it does let me start it up Okay, let's start by removing these. Uh, I think we can just get away by removing this air duct. And this already lifted up. It's got two little clips back there that I guess fall. Those two little things here. And holds it on there. And here we're missing some screws over here. We should have, I guess, a little plastic rivets. Which they're gone. I don't know if anybody's messed with it before, I guess. If they're gone, huh? Now the way we're going to pop this open. <clears throat> get a close look just stick a screwdriver here and pull on this and you get one ear out then do the same on the other side and it pops out this will also pop out but you don't need to take this out this is good enough right here okay then we go up here you got like uh, little ears in there I'm gonna kind of stick a screwdriver in there. Be careful. This is plastic. BMW's crazy about using cheap plastic. Let me try this other side. It's the only thing I hate about BMW. They go crazy. There we go. Pops that out. Do the same thing on the other side. That comes out. Make sure you get, if you got the little rivets here, make sure you get these off before or you're going to break them. Okay, let's set that aside. And there's the thermostat right there. Well, it's right there in the front. It's kind of tricky to get to the bolts. And here's the new one. So we should just have three bolts and the connection. This it goes in like this. Hopefully there's enough light there where you can see. Let me zoom in on the connection. And it's one of those simple uh, BMW connections. All you got to do is pop this little wire out. Clip. Then you pull. And it comes out. Just pull in this wire. And then when you put it in, I think you can just push it in. Push that clip in. And you just snap it in. It'll snap in. Let's try it. First, I guess I got to make sure that white. Okay, see, it wasn't in all the way. Now it's in. You should just snap in. There you go. That's all there is to it. Take it out again. Pull on that clip. Out it comes. Let's set it to a side up here. I'm going to go ahead and push that clip in. So when we're ready. All we do is just snap it in. All right, we'll hide you back here. Same thing down there. There's a clip on that bottom holes. That clip right there. 
Let me get something better to get to it. Okay, let me zoom in. Let's grab that clip. It's going to be right here. Pop it out. If it comes out of the way, it's no biggie. And now we work this hose out. It's going to have to wiggle because they're tight. You don't want to pry too much because you can't break that plastic. If you pry, just pry a little bit here, you know, just kind of put a screwdriver, twist it like that and see how it moves. But be careful. Again, that's plastic and it could break. Okay, there, came off. Okay, I repositioned the camera. And now it comes. These can be a pain in the rear sometimes. I've had them where they're stuck on there good. And like I said, this is plastic. You want to be real careful with it you can break and also don't lose that clip I went ahead and pushed it in remember it was out <clears throat> this clip same thing as the other one push it in when you put it back in it snaps in place and line up these little slots right here got one on the bottom and one on the top line them up with these little notches Well, instead, I just wedged it between these lines here, the AC line. It'll stay there for now. All right, back to the thermostat there. Okay, guys, it's got three bolts. One's back there, then this one, and we got one right here. I know they're hard to see right now. See that one back there? Right over here there and there's one back there right there and I'm gonna go in there with a quarter inch and a wobble you can get in there without these wobbles or whatever let me show that's what I'm using a 10 millimeter little extension and a wobble you can get to the back one I don't want to drop it. That's what I was afraid of. Let me dig it out real quick. Oh well, we'll look for it here when I get everything off. Now let's go for this other one. Right here. This time, I'm going to use a magnet. That way we don't have to be digging for two screws then the final one and now we should just wiggle it it should pop out and this guy's got the wrong coolant yeah BMW uses the blue one but Okay, let me get a, I should have put a, my little pan down there. No, I'm stuck here. Help, somebody help. A little too late for the pan. Okay, just make sure you clean the surface real good. Make sure there's no kind of debris or a gasket got stuck in there somewhere. Looks pretty good. Okay, now take your new thermostat and for my next trip, ladies and gentlemen, I will try to put this thermostat in there. Make sure you got that little gasket there. Try to hold it and with the other hand, put start one screw in there. Now I may have to move the camera, guys. Yep, let me move around. You're gonna have to do. Okay, I'm leaning over the passenger side. I just want to get one screw going at least. And I'm going to hand tight 
so it doesn't move that much around. Okay, there we go. Let's have it. All right. Now, let's move y'all back over here. Don't get dizzy on me now. Okay, hand thread this bottom one. So far, so good. Now the tricky one, huh? Just reach in there. Okay, I'm gonna go for the hard one first. Get that out of the way. That's all I'm using is a quarter inch ratchet and little extension and 10 mil. Well, let's get this other one. It's kind of hard. Not too bad. Not the easy one. And I don't know what the torque specs are. Like I said, I never go by torques. I've gotten the feel of it. But on these, you do have to be careful. If you go too tight, you will strip or break these bolts. That feels good. And when you take them off, get the feel of it. See how tight they were. If they were tight, put a little hurt on them. If they're not, just snug them up. That, that feels good to me right there. All right, let's uh, snap that hose on there. Oh, I did call the customer and I told him he had the wrong coolant. There we go. Make sure it snaps. You hear that snap, crackle pop? It's in. Yank on it. Make sure it doesn't come off. Oh, and I did call that customer and he said that'd be all right. And I told him, well, I recommend you use the blue one. Then. It's okay. It'll work. So, all right. It's your car, man. It will work, guys, but I do recommend you use the blue stuff. That really protects your radiator, water pump, blue stuff. Formulated. Do its job at a BMW. BMW is kind of delicate. All right. Let's snap this thing back together. Make sure you got everything on there. I'm doing, you know what? I want to see if it leaks, so I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna turn it on with that, without that, because I want to make sure it doesn't leak. And I can look in there and see if it's gonna leak. And my eyeball. What happens with sticking my face in there and yep, my job. Pulling on it. Well, the fan ain't coming on. Okay, now that we know we don't have any leaks, we're gonna put the uh, air duct on. Just snap it in there. Got the camera on you. Snaps right in there. And over here, just push it in there. And if you have those clips, put them in there. This doesn't have them. Oh yes, we can't forget this bad boy. All right, I don't always bleed my vehicles when I do like a water pump or a thermostat, but uh, the way I do bleed them is I just. Bring the front end up, either on jack stands or ramps, and let gravity bring the air pockets up. So if there's any air pockets caught in there, they'll come up. And that right there tells you that water pump's working. Squirt, you should have a little stream of uh, coolant like that. But I do that for about five minutes, or when it starts overflowing, then I put the cap in. It's always worked for me. Uh, there's a way to do it on BMW by the manual but that takes like 14 minutes and I've never done it this is working me for BMWs too but the procedure is something like turn on the key don't turn on the car then put your settings to a uh, high and your fan low and you press on the gas pedal down for like 10 12 seconds and it kicks the air uh, water pump on and it takes like 14 minutes and they do recommend you put a charger on it so I ain't got time for that this works just as good for me. Now, if you try this, this method, if you see my other videos, and it doesn't work for you, then yeah, do the uh, oh, uh, BMW procedure way. This is a lot faster and uh, it's worked for me. And sometimes you can see them pockets of air 
come up and pop like that. Alright, it's time to go out, so I'll probably shut it off and put the cap on. Yep, I'm gonna put the cap on. We're done. Alright, now we just gotta take it out for a test run. Run it for 30 minutes to an hour just to make sure it doesn't overheat. And he freeze, I just cleaned it up. Come on guys, let's go for a ride. This thing's running great. I want you to check it out. Let me close the shop. I'm sure nobody comes in and steals my stuff. Okay. Look, no check engine light, no codes, nothing. Oh, it's driving nice now. Let you come along for the ride. Let me put my seatbelt. I'm going to get pulled over. Beautiful. No fan yet. That's what we want. Nice and quiet. go back I'm gonna take it out further but I just wanted y'all to go with me for this little ride and uh, I'll take it out for about a, an hour drive and see what happens okay let's drop you off and I'll be back in a little bit Okay, this is the end of the road for you guys. All right, YouTube, it's probably hard to hear me in the wind. No leaks from the thermostat, nice and dry. Drove it for about an hour and uh, didn't heat up. Fan didn't come back on. No leaks down there. Going dry. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I like always. Bless you.